Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout 76, America's Playground, Atlantic City, Honor Bound. Oh, I thought it was going to be a new area. Oh, okay. Oh, terminal with all the answers? Okay. Um, hmm, this doesn't quite work. Why is it... There we go. Lab duty. Bitch all you want, we're taking Bim and Bam for guard duty over the chem lab. Permanently. The cook's been getting jumpy about the plants in the area. We can't let the, that affect her work, capiche? The job she does for us trumps anything you thimble brains think is important. Without her, there's no blood. Without blood, we're donezo. You remember which building the lab's in, right? Second floor, all sealed up like. Other side of the city near... City hall near that mess of pipes the munis used to use? Have those two report tomorrow at 0800 sharp. It's 8 o'clock in the morning in case you're too dumb to remember, and I know you are. $2 bills. Found the strangest thing the other day, a slip of old world money they call a $2 bill. I'd never heard of that one, of one before. It's the damnedest thing. Looks just like a $1 bill, or a 5 or a 10, but the thing's worth $2. Is that what it says? That's what it says. There's some kind of story here. I just know it. I can't let this discovery go uninvestigated. I'm putting out a call to the whole family. Find me more $2 bills. Or more information on them, at least. And who does will be rewarded generously. I'm talking a bucket full of caps. This thing must be priceless, so I'll pay a fat stack of change in return. Can't believe the munis have been blind enough to let us sit here right under their noses for so long. Bam said we'd had this place since old TR's day. Imagine that. I'd like to see the look on Buttercup's face the day he finally finds out. Except I wouldn't, because he'd beat me to death with the shirt I'm wearing. So instead, I just imagine and hope that day... Is a long, long ways off. How's it work? Seriously, can nobody tell me how the back door works? It's like magic. You just knock enough times and it opens up all on its own? I just don't get it. The note says not to ask, but I can't help myself. Please, somebody tell me. Ain't that some kind of security concern after all? 20 cases of beer, 30 cases of wine, 2 cases of 10 mil submachine guns, 15 cases of ammo for them. Five cases of fine Italian tailored suits salvaged. The look on Bim's face when I showed him that $2 bill, priceless. So I'm assuming those two that we just spoke to were Bim and and Bam. They're your family, Bim. You did the right thing. That's what I keep telling myself. But there's a part of me that still thinks I I did wrong. You. you know I'd love to have you back then, but Abby comes first. You're back? That was incredible. What did you find? Uh, I heard you talking. Where'd you made the right choice coming to Appalachia? I... Look, that was a private conversation. <sighs> but We're bouncing up and down in excitement. A huge favor here, so... I guess I'll spill my guts to you too. Yes. I had second thoughts about leaving Atlantic City. I loved my job with the Munis, wading into the scummy pond water, taking the torch to endless nests of overgrown. It was the furthest thing from my past and current life. It had meaning. I wasn't slinging cocktails for killers or working all night just to keep my mom's insane project in business. I really felt like I was living, you know? Not shutting my eyes to the world outside, wishing it would all just go away. So, you can imagine, I have a few regrets. Uh, you can't blame yourself. I... I know. That's what I tell myself every day. <sighs> Enough about me. What did you find in the warehouse back there? Uh, another lead. There's a chem lab. You have a low bar for incredible. In a building surrounded by pipework on the other side of City Hall. Really? Then we were right. I can hardly believe it. I think I know the building you're talking about. We received reports of people slinking around that area. But it's so full of overgrown that I dismissed the idea out of hand. That was dumb of me. Let's head that way. See what's there. Maybe we can sneak inside. Hmm. Maybe. It's a big ask, though. Wait. 
What is making that noise? I'm gonna fight more overgrown. There's that I think there's a trophy for killing I think it's a hundred. Kill a hundred with fire damage, which wouldn't you know my auto axe does that. What is something is making my controller vi vibrate? Is it you, gentlemen? Oh, so when they have that green mist. Oh, I leveled up. When they have that green mist going, I guess it means they're being healed. Ah. They seem to be alivent. You know, when you said crawling with overgrown, that was what, four that I just fought, and that's it? Where am I trying to go? Or am I just following them? About these. About what? Let's see what we Ben's used on. to use pipes like these to pump the water out of buildings and go hunting for salvage. But couldn't we reverse the flow and use the pressure to flush the family out? With the right adjustments, we can blast enough water inside to take out any guards and create some kind of opening. Let's see what Ben found. Now that you oh, mentioned I'm over here now. I did have an incident once where a newbie mixed up the valve order and blasted a bunch of overgrown to kingdom come. This is a very, very dumb idea. Wouldn't that destroy the potential cure we're after? That's a risk. But if we control the pressure correctly, we should be alright. Huh? You just have to trust me on execution. Sounds like our way in. Yes, we're so close. I just know this will pay off. It's a good plan, Vin. But this is the end of the line for me. If a municipal officer got caught assaulting a gangster hideout, it could jeopardize the peace we have in Atlantic City. Before I go, though, I want to make you an offer. I want you to come back to us when this is all through. Curing Abby takes precedence. I would never say otherwise. But it's clear you missed the job. We'll take you back. I'll pull whatever strings are necessary. What do you think? I knew this was coming, but I'm still not sure what to say. In my heart, I'm a, a muni, but I left for a reason. My family needs me, desperately. If I'm not there for them, they'll probably devolve into raiders or ghouls or worse. And I'm only half joking. I need to think about it. I will take it seriously. I promise. I know you will. I'm sorry to make you choose again, but I really do feel it would be right for you to return. Think it through. I'll be here for you either way. Good luck, Vin. Okay, concentrate. Back to business. Need to take a br spicy. Need to take a breather. I've needed a breather for years, but we're too close to our goal. Let's keep going. Just tell me what I need to do. These pumps are finicky. We'll need to turn the valves in the right order to reverse the flow. The valves are marked with their numbers. I think the order should be three, two, four, one. Can you remember that? Three, two, four, one. Man, I can't remember my own birthday. Yeah. That's right. Let's have at it. Three, two, four, one. Okay. Remember, the valve order is three, two, four, one. Three, two, four, one. How do I know which number is which? Oh, this is one. Okay. Three, two, four, one. That's four. That is two. Okay. Oh. Come here, I need you for a trophy. Just that one by itself? Oh, nope. Why were you missing so much health? 
Okay, so three. Two. That was one, so four is over here. Wonder what happens if I get it wrong. Does it just not work and I have to do it again? Oh, I blew a hole in the wall. Oh. Probably not great that I'm killing mob guys. We did it. The plan worked. Okay, now we just need to look around and see if there's a cure stashed here somewhere. Before we do, though. Tell me something. Once we're all past this, do you think I should come back here? Leave the business? Try and return to my old life? Uh... Hmm. Why are you being so indecisive? It's my life we're talking about here. I don't want to take a decision like this lightly. I didn't before, and I won't now. It's just not who I am. What would you do in my position? Uh... I think the f your family... Well, if his mom... Hmm. His mom is actually trying to care for the family now. It'll be easier. I think he should do that. I guess our being here now is evidence enough of that, isn't it? You really do rely on me. Should I leave them in the lurch to pursue my own happiness? You've given me some food for thought. Thank you. I'll sort out my own feelings later. Hmm. It's a difficult now, choice, really. It looks like there's another floor to this place. Let's get up there and take a look. Gene. Finish batch, eat, find glasses, dad's birthday on 21st. Remember, not the rest of the list. Hello, Jean. Hey, hey, look. I just work here, okay? I don't want any more trouble. D take what you want, but don't hurt me. What do you do here? Me? I'm Jean. I cook blood for the family. Not my first choice, but it has its perks. Wait, why am I answering your questions? Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, we need a cure. A cure for devil's blood addiction? <laughs> that info is what we call classified. You'll have to make me an offer better than the kneecaps I'll lose for telling you. Uh. Oh, man, I can really. This is the charisma. Have you ever been through blood withdrawal? Do you know what it does to a person we're trying to help someone in that position? I. Yeah, I, I, I remember that feeling, yeah. <laughs> Appeal to my soft side, why don't you? Look, I would if I could, okay? But I can't cook an antidote for devil's blood. Not with what I got here. I only use synthetic materials. <laughs> Hate to talk down my own product, but, uh, yeah, yeah. it's almost like knockoff stuff. It wasn't always that way. In the good old days, before I was caged up like a lab rat, we used to pure organic compound but times have changed but if you had that organic compound you could create an antidote can't we get it for you well maybe if you could get it <laughs> good luck with that even i don't know where it comes from 
Only the original creator does. And he's long gone. Oh, Conchetta Lombardi drove him into exile when she took power. Might have even whacked him by now. So unless you happen to know where Tony Russo is hiding out, oh. you aren't getting your cure. Sorry, pal. Oh. Uh-oh. You don't mean... My father? Damn it, Pop. I knew you had something to do with this. Just not what... Wait... <laughs> Tony is your dad? The Mafia boss Antonio Russo? Oh my god... Oh my god, you're Vinny? I really am losing my kneecaps. Seems like we owe my father another visit. Senile or not. We have to get him to cough up some info if we want to save Abby. <laughs> Senile? Oh, kid! Did you really fall for that act? That man's sharp as a carving knife. He was barking orders right up until he fled. Never a hint of forgetfulness. Oh, I won! He's been pulling the wool over your eyes, Finn. Yeah, I'm just sad to see you fell for it. Interesting. He... What? There's no way. Unless... I was pretty busy. And I'd been away from home working for the Munis for a while. Did I just take it for granted? Why would he feign sen sen senility? A defense mechanism, I suppose. Maybe he thought if he acted harmless, then the family would have no reason to pursue him to Appalachia. Those hitmen from the Rose Room proved that wrong. He created devil's blood? Can we talk about that for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a lot to take in, isn't it? The man created the poison that's killing his daughter. As for the how or the why, only he knows. The profit and power must play into it. If he's not actually seen now, then he can tell us how to cure Abby's addiction after all. You're right. We need to head home and confront my father. Do whatever it takes to make him admit he's been playing us. Or dig up something that could lead to a cure. I know this was a lot to go through. But thank you again for doing this. I'll meet you at home when you're ready. Oh. A two star? How insulting. So, so, if I help with this, right, uh, when will there be a reward involved? Possibly some blood? <laughs> right! Oh, I forgot how. G generous you are, Antonio. Oh, a witness. Good. I mean, hello again. Who are you? Okay. Oh, so I've got the legs now, so I need the chest. Also, my food and drink are getting low. Give me the tea. Uh, Rose Room is over here. If I could, give me the thing. You know, I never really thought I'd be over a level thousand in this game. I didn't think it would last that long. I didn't want it to be a short-lived game, but I didn't. Ex I really, the first few years this game was out, I did not see it lasting this long. I kind of figured they would try to make something out of it, and they wouldn't put enough effort in, and it would, well, it would tank. But they've been kind of, it's not, it's not doing tremendously well, either. It's no Elden Ring or major game. But they've been keeping it on a pretty reliable life support, all things considered. A normal family. Let's just hope, I've lost count of how many cigs I've smoked waiting for you to arrive. Not a single one has caught my nerves. I was hoping they would. I managed to get everyone in one room. It was a lot harder than it sounds. We need to confront my father. He can't hide anymore. Not when Abby's life is at stake. Oh, this will be very interesting. What are we even going to say to him? We're going to tell him that we know. We know everything that he's done. He's going to try to deflect and keep pretending that he's senile. 
And every time he does, we push back. You okay? You want my honest opinion? No, I'm not okay. But this isn't about me. My sister is dying. Her condition takes precedence over my... whining. Okay, I'm ready to confront him. Good, because I'm not. But we don't have much of a choice, do we? This way. Oh, this will be very interesting. And I'm a little upset. If I'm totally honest, because... The fact that he was acting like a per people I've met in real life with that kind of issue. Hello, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long. See, it was, um... Oh, hello. So, so good to see you again. I'd like to talk to you about your family. Sure. Late army sport. Uh, Vin seems a little different compared to the rest of you. Vincenzo has always been... Such an ambitious kid. A heart of gold, that one. When he grows up, I'm sure he'll be an excellent made man. He takes after his father completely, you know. Uh, what are you talking about Evelyn? Evelyn? Oh, my wife is the most beautiful creature you could ever lay your eyes on. <laughs> Isn't she? Ah, I still remember the day she and I met. She was... Some kind of performer, um, uh, an acrobat, maybe. But I saw her on stage, and, and it, it was like the world stopped turning, and all the lights faded to gray. Uh, nothing else mattered. I, I brought her flowers, I think. <laughs> her favorite ones. Uh, but I, I, I can't remember what they was called. Were they roses, perhaps? Roses! Yeah! Now that you mention it, I, I think that they were. How did, how did you know that? Are you, are you trying to charm my wife? <laughs> <laughs> are you not concerned at all about Abby? Abby? Why? Something wrong with her? That little tyke always tends to get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you know, kids, right? When you're still growing and there's all those hormones, it makes you a bit rebellious. I'm sure it's just a phase. Do you have no awareness whatsoever what's going on with your daughter? Uh, awareness of what exactly? Look, I don't know what she said to you, but I'm sorry if she's acting out. I ground her, but she's got a fiery spirit. I should probably just disobey me anyway. Hmm. Questions? Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't realize we was... Well, I, I, I hope I was able to give you some good answers. Oh, something's off about you. Off? How so? Uh, what did you do for work before you left Atlantic City? Ah, well, uh, I'm an old man. I, I've been retired for uh, quite some time now. Before then, I, uh, I, I, I seem to recall working in the garbage business. I made sure that the uh, casino quarter was spotless, and the city kicked up some cats for me in return. Any reason someone would want you dead? Dead? What kind of question is that? I can't say they would. Unless it's one of the many victims of my bingo skills. <laughs> B-39! <laughs> you will. How could I not be? Smell all that fresh air. Take in those beautiful ocean views. We're in the most beautiful place in the world right now. A tourist hotspot, and... And you think I'm unwell. You are a comic sport. Where do you think you are? We are exactly. <laughs> Is that a rhetorical question? We're in America's playground. One of the most iconic cities in the nation. Atlantic City. 
Never mind. Never mind what? You seem a little lost. Lost? Oh no. How, how could I get lost in my own home? In Atlantic City. See you later, Antonio. Let me know when later comes. Mm, so there is something in that. Ha, <laughs> Timmy. Oh. Never mind. So what? I gotta just. Lost in Atlantic. Sure. Uh, I'd grow. Bab. Bab. I'm sure it's. Vincenzo. When he grows, he takes out. Oh, wait. Question? I guess I need to find evidence. Let me know. Oh. Okay. I looked it up. Apparently, that's just a bug that happens to almost everyone. You have to restart the game, and then he's in the right place, Mom, and then you can confront him. Why don't you relax? This isn't helpful. He's. He's sick. We don't... We don't even know if what Ben said is true. Abigail, please. I've handled more than one bad performance in my day. I just didn't think it would be my husband. I'm booing off the stage. Ladies, I, 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 I do wish that I could help you. But this devil's blood sounds very dangerous. Just cut the crap. Your acting's not even good. Frankly, it's embarrassing that we fell for it for so long. What? 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 What's going on? What is this? This is all very overwhelming. Ben, where did you hear that Dad is faking? I met one of his old business partners, Jean. She told me everything. Pop's been faking senility to get out of AC so that Concerto Lombardi can't have him killed. That's why those hitmen showed up at the Rose Room. A friend here can back me up. Is this true? Eh, uh, yeah. Not my monkeys, not my circus. I wish I could say I can't believe it. But, God, Dad, really? This was the first thing your brain went to? To fake dementia? A miscursed nightclub? All that nonsense you gave me about an Appalachian nightlife. Ah, oh, just another falsehood. No one makes a fool out of me, Antonio Russo. The only one making a fool out of you is yourself, Evelyn. All of you. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. I was playing hooky. You think it's because I like walking around like a dried prune asking what day of the week it is, huh? I got a target painted on my back by the damn mob! Would you rather have a senile father or a dead one, huh? Yeah. Thought so. Well, well, well. I just wanted a dad. Period. Oh. You can write a novel on why you're innocent later. How about we talk about what we're going to do for hey. Abby? Let's not overreact now. It's just a little indulgence, right? Who doesn't have a vice these days, huh? She looks fine. Oh, I've married a Shakespearean villain, haven't I? Our daughter is dying, Antonio. Why? Oh, would you quit the melodrama for just a few seconds, Evelyn, for the sake of... For once, she's not being dramatic. According to Jean, Abby needs a pure sample of devil's blood to make an antidote for her withdrawal symptoms. And you're the only one who knows how to get it. For God's sake. You had to go for the one chem you couldn't come off of. What's the matter with you? <sighs> All right, Peter Gallery. There's something you all need to see. Come with me. Secret room time? Whoa. Oh. Hey, that's a lesser devil. Whoa. How did you get that here? Oh, what is this, this beast doing in my home? Oh, disgusting. I've seen one of these before stalking around the city center. Not something I'd want to piss off, I'll say that much. We started seeing these fellas show up around ten years ago. Devils, we call them. They're still pretty rare. Elusive. Then why 
Do you have this? You tell me, honey. Would the showman pay top dollar for a freak show devil corpse? So you killed it to make a profit. Hey, Abby, look at this thing. What do you think it is, a bunny rabbit? It's as ugly as sin. Look, I needed an edge of a concerto. Quentino had yours truly to be next in line to be Godfather, but that little viper wouldn't have in it. She tried to sabotage me at every turn. I needed to make more caps, prove that I was useful. And embalming this thing was the answer. Oh, what a ridiculous idea from a ridiculous man. I'm ridiculous, Miss Primadonna? What wasn't ridiculous was this fella's blood. I originally took it to Jean to get it embalmed, you know? Promised her a small card. But any dreams of a sideshow attraction disappeared when we realized the... tantalizing properties of its blood. Does this mean you still have a sample of its blood? We need to get it to Jean as soon as possible. It just so happens I do. If what you're saying is true, then we need to act now on an antidote. I'll take Abby and your um, friend here to Jean. No what a tag alongs. The damn mom's gonna be swarming our tails the whole way. Concerto will know I'm back the second we touch ground on Jersey soil. Damn it. If it weren't for the mob. Stay safe, all right, Abby? I will. I got us into this mess. The last thing I want to do is to drag you further into it. I hope you know what you're doing, Tony. You, me, Atlantic City. I still understand why you faked being senile. I could get a skywriter to spell it out for you if I wasn't clear the first time. Conchetta. Wanted to ice me out. I thought if I faked having dementia, she would write me off and leave me alone. Fat lot of good that did. You saw those assassins? You can guess whether she bought it or not. Then why'd you keep up the act after the hitman? Yeah, why did you keep up the act? Tried. One of the seven deadly sins people love to preach about. In order to sell the lie, I, I had to make everyone fall for it. And that included my flesh and blood. You know how headstrong Abby and Vin are and how Evelyn Evelyn is. I was so deep in it that uh, I didn't really see a way out. I just kept thinking, someday I'll tell them. But uh, I always put it off. Some may say it was cowardice, but uh, I just think it was a lack of punctuality. You could say that, I guess. Who is Concerta Lombardi? Why did she want you dead? Concerta is the little sister of Quentino Lombardi, the godfather. She's an ambitious, conniving brat. Let's just say Quentino named me as his successor. Despite me not being his own flesh and blood, the man was sterile. As such, Concerta wanted me out of the picture to take power by force. I've seen those devils in Atlantic City. Why'd you come all the way here for the sample? Many reasons, kid. For one, they're a pain in the ass to kill. I'll turn you into a paper angel before you know it. This fella here is already dead. That makes things a hell of a lot simpler. Two, probably because Vin was too busy fantasizing about unicorns and rainbows or whatever munis do to just suggest that in the first place. Okay. Uh... I don't, let's not waste any more time. Couldn't agree more. Abby and I will meet you in the city center. Oh, back Try there? Try to get there in one piece. Concerta's goons take no prisoners. You know, give me and Abby some time to uh, catch up. Ah. How would things be different with a normal family? No way. More like with the dragon. Oh, okay, they're just idle chat. Anyway. Zip. And oh. district.
Oh, good. More progress for trophies. They actually do impressive amounts of damage considering all the buffs I have on me. Why are you shooting at me? Okay, good job. You did so well. I need to eat again. Head back to my camp and restock up on all my goodies. Oh, so the mob is just out to get me in period. Is this where the chem lab was? No, this is... This feels different. You know, using the fire mod on... I like, I like using fire stuff in general in this game. It's a shame there's no pyromaniac perk like there has been in previous follow, Fallout games. They need, to, they need to have like an update that adds a bunch of new perks, just fun stuff. Like Cyborg, or, or Pyromaniac, or Swing for the Fences, stuff like that. Like from the older games. So, so, if I help with this... When you help, not if. Right, uh, when? Oh, this is the conversation she was having before and it was bugged out. Sure there will. You'll get the gift of continuing to live. The greatest gift of all. Right. Oh, I forgot how generous you are, Antonio. Oh, a witness. Good. I mean, hello again. Jeez, man. So, you managed to get here in one piece. Took you long enough to get off that birdie bird. Verdi bird. Of the essence here. Yes, of the essence, right. Of course, yep. <laughs> You're Abby, right? <laughs> you sure you want to get clean? Focus here, Genie. Focusing, right. Do you have the sample? Yeah, but this here is liquid gold. Don't break it. Give it here. How is it still viable if it's been... Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, the game's... Oh, sh Hey, Maran, can we maybe speed up the process here? Dad, just wait. No, this isn't good. This is the opposite uh, we're gonna have to go of good. We're going to have to go hunt the Jersey Devil. Bad. What's the problem here? I wasn't expecting this. This has profound implications, and 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 I don't know where. The... Just spit it out already. My daughter is dying, and we don't have the time for you to have your little eureka moment. The sample you brought me isn't pure enough to make an antidote with. What? That's that's a very funny joke, Jean. That came from the Jersey Devil himself. How can you get any fucking purer? You're not gonna believe me, but uh. That wasn't the real Jersey Devil. If such a thing even exists, that is. This is juvenile blood. The one you killed was just a child. What? So you mean the ones we see coming out of the Barrens is just... It's... Children? Mm-hmm. And, uh... How big's the father? Huh? Or... Or the mother? It's hard to tell with these things. I don't know. No one's ever seen it before. Well, live to tell about it, that is. The, the, the quantity of neural proteins present in the blood sample isn't fast enough to qualify this as an, as an adult. Is that a but thing? Is that how you tell? It's a juvenile. That means there's a parent. An adult would have blood potent enough to craft an antidote. So, you're saying you want us to go into the Pine Barrens and kill an adult? Devil? Just trying to see if I'm the one who's going nuts, or if it's still you. 
But if it's our only option, we've got to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm saying. Right. Looks like you and I have some business to take care of with a gentleman from the Barrens. So we need to kill a literal folk legend. I'm still trying to process that it's real at all, frankly. <sighs> Let's just hope that it is. Uh, how do you know? You know what? Let's just go find it. Hmm. Not sure. Hey, Egghead. How do we draw an adult devil out? That I can help with. We've got enough here that I can make fake devil pheromones. If you can bring the pheromones to high points in the city center, maybe the scent will draw the devil out of the barrens. And into the city. I could probably think of a few places to bring him. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. We? Ah, oh, no, Abby. You're not coming. What's your excuse this time? I'm an adult. I can handle myself. I've been handling myself for years now, thanks to you and Mom. Hey, don't bring your mother into this. Yeah, you've been handling yourself, right? Look how well that's going. You're so strung out, you're on death's door. Strung out on a chem you sold. You little... My word is finally, you are not coming. Wait for us here. We'll be back with the blood. You'll never change, will you? Go ahead, walk away. It's not like I'm trying to save your life or anything. Well, I'm just gonna go. Don't mind me. Okay, so let's start from one end and work around. Okay, goodbye. Oh, there's more of here this time. Maybe that's what happened is there was a mob fight here. And those those were the survivors I saw. They said high points. This is not a point that's high. So, uh, how big do you think this thing is? Well, considering how big the juveniles are, and, and how juvenile they might be, and it's probably big, pretty fucking big. Pardon my French. I hope it's a cool fight. Uh, what's with this dead end alley? I guess that's exactly what it is—a dead end alley. Let's go do the one over there then. That man needs help. Uh. I guess there are a lot of those things. Why am I not... Why AP regions glitching out? Now's not the time, dum-dum. Oh! Juveniles! Whoa! Different factions at war here. Huh? Oh, they killed the one that was over here. It's weird that they have these finely tailored suits and they're just like ankle deep in weird water. Are we done here?
poisonly. I love that he actually says words like that. Poisonly. The hell was that? What are you doing? Oh, there's critters up there. It's weird that the big ones understand how to use firearms. I guess the implication is that they've retained enough of their cerebral functions from the corpses they used to be. What are you doing? Get out of here! Wait, why can't I? You know, I'm not even clear what the Pine Barrens are. Is it, like, woods? Why is it vibrating so much while I'm in the water? It's really weird. Are these the same stairs I was having issues with before? Ow. How dare you? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, and there's the Verdi bird. Bonk. What are you shooting at? Oh. This is it. Hope my daughter's grateful we're about to whack a living legend for her. God forbid you do your part as a father. What's up with you and Abby? What gave it away? Is it the constant tension or her blatantly hating my guts? I know you're not supposed to have a favorite kid, but I did. And it wasn't Vin. When Abby was real little, I took her under my wing. She was a total daddy's girl. Showered her with affection, gifts. I used to let her sit in on all of our meetings. I showed her the ropes. I hate to admit it, but she would have been a top tier maid woman. But there's a reason they call the Cosa Nostra the family. It's cause it replaces your real one. And you've gotta fuck over your real one to keep the family happy. So what changed? What didn't change is the real question. Abby, she was, uh, you know, getting older. Becoming more of a teenager, and less of a little girl. She was, she was growing into a formidable young woman. And that was the problem. And why did it suddenly become an issue? It's not that it suddenly became an issue, it's that when you're a kid, it, it, it don't mean nothing. It's it's all fun and games. Once you're an adult, you're locked into that life for, well, life. She was going to end up just like me. Just, you know, with less respect. There ain't a law saying women can't be in the family, but there's always been opposition to letting them reach positions of power. Yeah, it's tradition. It's always been men who have done the killing, the stealing, the, the plotting. I was next in line to be godfather. Do you really think they would have accepted her as my heir with no issues? Just ask Conchetta. Why do you think she has a target on my ass? If she could have been Don, Quintino would have chosen her. She's his flesh and blood after all. That, uh, doesn't explain how she, yeah, the devil's blood thing. It was a choice she made. 
But it was definitely influenced by this. I wasn't about to set Abby up for disappointment. Trading her all these years just to be rejected. I, uh, I just distanced myself from her. Didn't let her sit in on my work no more. I never told her why. Over time, she just got the hit. And that's when she started acting out. She knew I was the big player moving devil's blood around AC. I don't know. She, she knew I discovered it, but uh, yeah, that don't really matter now, does it? There's tons of chems you can get hooked on in this shit hole, but she got hooked on the one thing that she knew would get my attention. Trouble is, blood is highly addictive. She got in to win my love with some such bullshit, but there's no getting out with that poison. Uh, let's try to middle ground this. I'm not going to be judge, jury, and executioner, but you have a lot of issues to work out with your daughter. I never asked you to be. I just figured you you wanted to know what's going on. Yeah, but you're right. We got a lot of issues to work through. Listen, the past is the future. Where are we going? Nope. Oh, where are you stuttering to, I should say? Well, that's the vertebrate. Antonia, where are we going? Oh, back down to the base floor level, I guess? Man, I hope I wasn't in the farthest possible spot for it. Uh, well, if developers had any sense, they would put it in the middle of all of them, right? Huh, that's interesting. Is this the chem lab? No. What is this? Oh. Sure, don't even help. That's fine. I should rather you not help and just go to the destination than have your AI bug out. Oh. Why is it so fishy, lizardy? Where'd you go? What? Hello? Did it just fall through the floor? Or does it have some kind of retreat mechanic or something? No, I think it did just fall through the floor before. Oh, no, through the wall. Goodbye. Well, oh, it looks cool. Get out of here. Sure, but Abby's waited this long already. No, no. I'm sure she could last a bit longer, and I can take the rest back to Jean and make an exclusive line of elite blood. We can make a killing off it. No, think of your family, not the money. 
Look at yourself, progressing into your old ways. Going down this path will only drive you further away from your daughter. But there's... Well, you... I... You might be right there. Maybe I lose my grip on myself. I'm getting too old to chase these caps, kid. I don't know how much time I got left. To the mob aside, I might as well spend the rest of it trying to make it right with my kids, right? Just take enough for Abby, all right? Just, just leave the sucker to his own devices. Oh. The Jersey Devil lies before you, defeated and helpless. You can safely harvest his blood without fear of injury in order to manufacture the cure to Abby Rousseau's addiction. The question is how much will you take? Just enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was cool. So it can kind of fly. We should get back to Abby as soon as possible, and, uh, thanks, kid. For showing me the way. It's the dawn of Hi. a new era, huh? You just wanted to just wanted to wave me you off. Say all goodbye. Your limbs. <laughs> Exceeding your expectations all again, right, I see. Jeannie, got the goods. Hey, where's Abby? Yeah. Yeah. Uh about that. I'm going to ask nicely one more time. Where is my daughter? She took off. It wasn't my fault. I swear, Antonio, she just left. Why on earth would she do that? Her life's in jeopardy, for God's sake. She, she, she said she said she needed to be alone. That that this I is a mistake. What? No, no, that 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 doesn't make any sense. Did did she say where she went? Sorta. She she said she went. To the so she oh, excuse me. Wait, her real father? We need to head back out there, quick. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's move fast then. Agree. Let's go. It sounds like are we are we actually under a time constraint? No. Well now the overgrown are coming in mass. Are you not gonna give me any exposition while we run there? No? Whoop. Where'd you go? Abby! There you are! I was hoping you wouldn't find me. Abby! What the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. It's best for everyone involved if you just leave me alone. Abby! What the hell's gotten into you? We got the sample. Y y you need to come back to the lab. Why even bother with it? Is there even a point to this antidote? What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened here, Dad? You wasted a guy on blood because he didn't pay up. What even sets me apart from him? Why does he get a bullet to the head, and I get an antidote? Abby, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna just let you die over something that happened 14 years ago. We can't just let her walk away. Yeah, <laughs> the bottom one, jeez. Only shot a normal life, you can't throw this away. A normal life, huh? Let me ask you something. What life do I have to return to? What point is there? My mother's too busy looking in a mirror to look at me. My brother can't be there for me for forever. He has his own life to live. My father kills people and ruins their lives for a living, and I've never even been good enough for that. So let me ask you again. What do I have to go back to? Well, I convinced the mother and the brother to stay with like the family that. and we're working on the dead. Stop me from using again. 
then all of this would be for nothing. Your dad's here now, isn't he? If he didn't care about you, he wouldn't have fought the devil to save you. Yeah. Well, you have a point there. A very good point. It's just the first time I've ever seen him do anything for me. How do I know anything is going to change? What proof is there? Your father chose you over selling the blood for profit. He... he did? He gave up caps? I just... I'm not sure if I believe that. Look, quit making me out to be this horrible bad guy. I, I, I just didn't want to waste perfectly good money is all. It's not about the blood or even the stupid devil. It's about the fact that you've always chosen caps over me. Why did you walk away from me? Oh my god, why say or don't? You know, family would never accept you as one of them. He didn't just didn't want to set you up for disappointment. Uh, that one. Even if that's true, he should have stood up for me. Oh my god, can I actually fail convincing her? For that, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. But the truth is, you didn't do nothing wrong. And I never hated you. I knew you could never really be in the mob. They just, they, they would never even let you file their papers, let alone call the shots. I didn't want to set you up. Failure, you understand? But I didn't want to break your heart neither. So I just did nothing. But I should have done better. And for that, I'm sorry. You admitted you were wrong. So maybe it's time I do the same. I never really thought you cared about me. I thought I was as disposable to you as every other addict you wasted. I don't think I deserve special treatment because I'm your daughter. But if I'm going to take this antidote and start a new life, I really want it to be a new life. A new start. No more killing. No more Kims. I want a proper family. I don't want to be on my own anymore. No, Abby, you're, you're right. I failed you. All these years, I put caps and a high life ahead of my family, ahead of my own flesh and blood. I'm the one who owes you an apology. And yeah. Yes. I am a coward for trying to walk away. Uh, I should have done better. I, I, but you know, sweetheart, there's still time. If you take the antidote. I can be the father you always wanted from here on out. I want the antidote. I want to get better. Let's head back to the labs and you'll, you'll feel better soon. Oh, which one did I... Well, I guess I convinced her. I don't like that it said Our both were completed. Makes recovery seem all the more worth it. I really hope this works. Don't like that there ain't no guarantees, but it's, it's just life. It certainly is just life. Do I have to wait for them or can I engage the... Oh. You're back. Did you get the sample? I gave it to you a while ago. Will there be any leftovers? Didn't I give it to her? Oh. Oh. The game had to make sure they were here. Just one moment. I need to engineer the antidote. Are you sure you want this, Abby? No more blood. Forever. Put a sock in it, Jean. All right, all right. <laughs> this should be good. Ready, Abby? That fast? I'm ready as I'll ever be. I'm right here with you, kiddo. Well, do you feel any different? I... I don't know. Not really. Wait. I feel... The craving is dying down. It's not as intense. You should feel some uh, immediate relief. Uh, but it'll take weeks for the symptoms to fade completely. It, it'll only get better from here on out. 
<laughs> Not worse. Thank you, Jean. I should be thinking you the most. Without you, I'd still be... I don't want to think about what might have happened to me. Uh... I was hoping there'd be some conversation. Uh... Don't mention it. <laughs> well, I felt like I had to. It being a matter of life and death and all that. You ready to go home now, kiddo? Yeah, Dad. I'm ready. Oh. Did you meet us there? You've been with us the whole way, so it wouldn't feel right to part ways here. I'm sure Ben wants to thank you, too. What's one more stop on this wild ride, anyways? <laughs> well, that's for sure. I'll see you there. Don't take too long, okay? Okay, bye, Jean. Well, I guess I should look into the side quest there for this, too. Let's see. Ooh, Sons of Dane. That's a fun one. So which of these? That's a side one. That's a side one. Okay. Oh, well, um, no need to roll out the red carpet for his bud. We're back. The devil coughed up his cure and Abby is right as rain. Thank God. Does he mean it, Abs? Ooh. Yeah, Ben. I'm back. Really back. Thank goodness. We're all due for some relaxation now that this is through. Would you like a toast, Abigail? Uh, let's take it easy on the substances for a while. Oh, you're right, of course. Goodness. I don't think we've spent this much time in the same room in ages. Certainly a welcome change. Everyone, please shift to the left if you can. It's my good side. <laughs> um, all your sides are your good side. You've grown charismatic with age, Abigail. If only I could say the same for your father. Hey, not in front of the guest. Speaking of which, why don't you come join the festivities? Uh, you think you're a regular gumshoe, eh? Oh, sorry. Uh, so, is this the part where we give you our gratitude and third-born child? I'll take your third and fourth-borns, please. Yeah, no, let's... Oof. Don't propose that to Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, why not? I know, this has been a roller coaster. Having you looking in from the outside, it shed light on a lot of things. But I'm hopeful for the future. I, um, I actually have something I want to talk to you all about. This has been on my mind for a while. Ever since we came to Appalachia, I've missed working with the Munis. I felt guilty for thinking about them when everyone needed me here. I even thought about going back, about what going home would be like without all of you in it. And oh, is this where we have the like everyone that. says their piece? My family. And so were these all modifiable? Could I have convinced him to stay and her to so perform? Oh, and don't frighten us like that. You had us all holding our breath just to say nothing's changing. You'll always have a home here, Vinny. You know that. You deserve to be happy too, Ven. Maybe there's an organization out here like the Munis. Somewhere you can do that kind there of thing. There is, again. actually. Wouldn't Oof. you know it? It uh, feels really weird to talk about myself. Oh, you'll get better with practice. I, I certainly did. Yeah, maybe a little too good. Don't you think, honey? Tuh. You know you love it. All right, all right. Family meeting's over. As for you, our doors are open. At least we can do in return for your assistance with family matters. Maybe one of these days. 
I'll even have a happy hour worth inviting you to. Oh. Good to see you again. Sure. What did I get? Oh. A Jersey Devil plushie. Do this, do that. Oh, and deep pocketed limbs. Okay. Wait, I could Oh. This is a hundred stamps, so getting this for free is pretty nice. Scrub the must out of this place. Okay. Cool. That was you know what? Not that short of a quest line. I was just once with a few hours, together. some new content, fought a Jersey Devil. That was cool. And there's still some side quests to do. I'll take it. That was I would say that was worth the wait. It's a little buggy. But, you know, it's at this point we know when Fallout gets an update, it's gonna be a buggy mess. So yeah, we'll do the side quest in the next episode. So thanks. You know what? I'm gonna go outside because they're talking a lot. But that's it for this episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye.